the market's going to crash, the sky is falling, interest rates are going up, there's too many houses, what do I do? Should I buy a home in 2022? I'm Natalie Bratton and with Remax First in Oklahoma City and I'm going to tell you whether or not I think you should be a buyer or a renter in 2022. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie Bratton with Remax First in Oklahoma City. And today I want to discuss whether or not you should purchase a home in 2022. So to start off, I need to address uh, what some so-called experts out there are saying. There are some so-called financial analysts and economic gurus out there posting videos and having podcasts where they are telling you that you should not buy a home in 2022. And one of my pet peeves is when people talk in extremes to get you to either see their side politically or economically and it gains them viewers and subscribers, but they may be scaring you into inactivity and that drives me nuts. So there are uh, YouTube videos out there of experts who are using words like crash, collapse, crumble. The real estate market's going to collapse and crash. And they've got these uh, thumbnails that you click on and you watch their videos and then they show you all these charts and graphs and throw out all these numbers. And you're like, well, yeah, they've done their research. They're really smart. They know their stuff. Like maybe I shouldn't buy a home this year, but let me give you my two cents on it. First of all, you can't base a market crashing or collapsing off of one variable. It takes a whole slew of reasons for a market to collapse. And if you're worried about the market crashing, watch my video. Uh, that is about will the market crash in 2022. So one of the reasons that I have seen people claim that you should not buy a home in 2022 is because eventually the supply problem in housing is going to end. Well, <laughs> that's a very short-sighted reason to not buy a home. But this guy actually went on there and said, okay, well, we've been asking for more supply so builders are building all these new houses and eventually it's going to catch up and it's not going to be a seller's market anymore. It's going to be a buyer's market because we're going to have more houses than we need. Okay, well, first of all, in Oklahoma City area, uh, new construction is less than 10% of the overall market. So yeah, the whole idea that new construction is going to like take over and be too much, 10% is a long ways off and uh, new builders are not idiots they're gonna be watching the market as well and once supply levels out and they're not selling their homes as quickly they're not gonna build as many homes right now they're building so many because they have waiting lists of people trying to buy their homes and so they're not just gonna keep building and keep building and keep building with paying no attention to the market so saying that we're going to build ourselves into having an abundance of supply is a reason not to buy a home does not pan out. Okay. The second reason is inflation. Okay. It's true. Everything is inflating, but inflation itself is not going to cause the market to collapse or crash, but it's also not a reason to be a renter instead of a buyer because just like home prices are inflated, so are rents. So let's, let's talk examples. So I own a home that is worth $300,000 and we charge rent of $19.50 per month. So if you are going to buy that home, which it is not for sale, but if you bought it, let's say in this market, it would sell for $310. Okay, so your monthly payment is going to be $1,900 a month if you just make a small down payment. Let's run it up to 2,000 just to say I'm, I'm a greedy landlord. So, okay, you buy it for 310, your payment's 1,900 a month. That means you're paying $22,000 a year on a mortgage. You rent it for $2,000 a month. 
uh, you pay $24,000 a year to live there. So already the, there's a $2,000 gap between owning it and renting it. Now 2,000 is not that big of a deal, but as you all know, you just lined my pockets and sent my daughter to college with $24,000 uh, versus if you owned the home, you would be paying down the mortgage so that you would be increasing your net worth. So home ownership is a smarter choice. And at the end of the day, if you own that home, you need to think of your home as a long-term savings account. It's gonna have years where it appreciates a lot. It's gonna have years where it appreciates just a little. It may even dip from time to time, but that doesn't mean you just pull it out and bury your money in, the, in a hole in the ground or put it under your pillow. You still have invested and you are still paying down a mortgage that increases your ultimate net worth once the house has paid off. So the whole idea is home ownership is gonna increase your net worth. Where renting, you just throw it away. So being scared of a supply problem or because of inflation is not a good reason to keep renting instead of buying. So when should you rent? Well, if you're just starting out and you need to increase your credit score and save up some money, uh, that's a reason to rent. Uh, if you are moving to a new town and you want to get to know it first, maybe you rent for a year. Major life changes or career changes sometimes mean you rent. When Chad and I got married, we rented for two years and then we bought our house. So renting is a short-term solution. If you live in a town where home prices and home ownership is attainable, home ownership, whether it's a buyer's market or a seller's market, has always been and will always be the number one long-term way to increase your net worth. Home ownership provides stability and a sense of home and belonging to you and your family. And it is the best way for you to become a millionaire. You buy a home, you pay it off, and it increases your net worth. So to all those guys out there, telling people not to buy a home, you need to quit scaring people for the sake of getting more viewers and subscribers. Thanks for watching. Come back next week and maybe I'll share with you something great about my town here in Oklahoma.